Welcome back to Natty Crypto for another video. I'm going to do an update on some of our trades today and over the last uh, couple of weeks and the projects that I've invested in that I have shared on this channel. I also done some trades today on Pepe and I did quite well. If you went in my VIP Telegram group, link in the description below, you'll see uh, how well I done in those trades through MEXC. I'm not a financial advisor. Please do your further research before you invest your money. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. If it is financial advice you're looking for, please seek a financial advisor. This is for educational purposes. I really just putting opportunities out there for you to have a look at. It's up to you whether you want to go for them or not. <clears throat> I do have a copy trade account on Bybit if you want to join my trades. I'm going to be uh, trading in there mostly from now on. Um, and also my VRB Telegram group, I do put in what I'm buying, what I'm selling, what I'm trading and what I'm doing. But if you want to, it to be automatic, then please join my copy trade account. I'm going to show that to you now. So far, so good. It says I'm down 3% on a 90 day uh, return on investment, but I was showing plus 4% uh, earlier on today. But I'm up today, so I'm not entirely sure why that is looking uh, like that. It's probably cumulative uh, profit. Uh, but yeah, if you look over here, it's probably just over a cumulative time. Um, so have a look at uh, my normal trades in here. As you can see, I was reconnecting. Thank you very much. Uh, my Phantom is up. My Farcon is down a little bit. So my AVAX is down a little bit. But my Bit Bitcoin is doing uh, pretty, pretty well on the return there. 30% up so far because I've got it on a 10x in my... Why are you... That's annoying. Uh, in my normal portfolio where I have started out. This is my copy trade account. Um, oh, it's just come down a little bit. That's okay. And the AVAX trade was up in a slight bit of profit just earlier. And the Bitcoin trade is obviously up in profit around 6 to 7%. Um, right, so having a look at, let's look at the, you know, the market a bit better on uh, trading views, a bit more of an idea. The RSI is pretty much getting to the top, which means it's becoming overbought. It hasn't quite tipped over yet like it has here. So the blue line, normally when it comes and crosses uh, under the red line, it means it's um, coming down to sell pressure. If the blue line tips up and um, overtakes the uh, crossover, the uh, uh, red line to go up, it means that it's on the uptrend. As you can see, uh, it is still following the trajectory of the trend line it had broke down a couple of occasions but it's found its way back up again it is still above the gaussian channel that's what we want to see as well it's still showing us in a bull up trend as you can see here this is the main big bull flag on its way up still got the pinpoints here uh 24k which is this um support here and you've also got down here and i remember down here is where that cme gap is uh i didn't I don't know why i don't have that line in here I should have had that line in here it's around uh, this point here i sneeze <coughs> oh, excuse me apologies uh this is the it's about round about here is where the i would like to measure this precisely Right about here is where the lower CME gap is. Let me see if I could put a little uh, price label on here. Oh, where did it go? Where's my price label? Oh, there it is. Uh, price label is, is where the lower end of the CME gap is. Let me move this up slightly. There we go. Um, right, so that's the lower uh, CME gap. We've also got a CME gap up here. I think it was around the 34 for mark wasn't it and then the next one after that is all the way up here at 54 that is crazy i think you see it better on my buy bit account um, i marked them off on here come on stop flipping re jigging did i mark them up on here yeah i think i did yeah there's your cme gap here uh it closed the other cme gap ones down here and the other one's up here and then you've got the other one Oh, come on. Stop, stop rejigging on me. It's not really... No, I didn't put it in here. Maybe my trading view wasn't... Uh, I did update it with the CME gaps. Maybe it didn't save. Maybe I should click um, save. That's probably why I didn't save. 
anyway there you go so that's the bitcoin market watch here so if you have a look on the uh, cme gap oh here's where i've marked it off on the actual uh, bitcoin futures here it is you see it here um on the daily chart it looked like it literally just tagged there was the highs so it's showing me the highs. It tagged around here just below the 30k mark today. On the futures, the on the daily on the futures, the, the static so stochastic RSI is at the bottom, which means there's going to be some buy pressure coming in. And this is the next CME gap for it to make its way to, which is around that mark. And like I said before, the top. Um, oh come on! I'm sure I. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's around 54k um, if we zoom out and zoom out. I think you'll see what I mean. Where are you? It's around a 54k mark here. I found a, a gap as well. Let's move. Just come on, where are you? Here, you can see it here a little bit. It was around this mark here. There's a bit of a gap going on there. If you, you see what I mean. Uh, that hasn't filled, but it's definitely, definitely looking like it's on to the trajectory to fill the 34k gap. Um, it's hitting against here again. If it breaks through the 30k mark, we are literally no gaps until the 34 and a half. I perceive that to be right. So, um, moving on, the other. Uh, things want to go through quickly uh, is some of our trades that have done really well uh your place didn't quite take off did it that's sort of dwindled away unfortunately uh, run and burn dwindled away <clears throat> uh, i was able to sell that i put in my vrb telegram group sell it uh, while you can but the other trades that we've done is uh, pod fast i haven't sold this i've kept hold of this is one of my long-term uh, bags that i actually believe in so this is quite a new excuse me, project. It's, it's going to have problems, but it does have a future. Loop Network, one of my most bullish networks I love very, very much. Yes, it made its way up here. It's down here at the moment. I think it's it's found a bit of support here around the 8 to 10 cent region, which is what you want to see. Fantastic project. Curve. Now, Curve done really well. It came up to here. It's come down to here. I see it moving up again. It's a great project. Uh, it's brand, brand new. Don't forget, that's why it's high risk. But I see uh, long-term potential in Curve. XP Network, again, another good project. It's been out a lot longer. I do love this project. It's been doing quite well uh, uh, recently. Um, may, it, may it continue. It is down from when we last bought it. That's fine. This is another long-term hold. Shido, again, one of my favourite ones. I'm very bullish on this. is a brand new project. It's doing quite well. It's very up and down. It's a very healthy looking chart. Long-term conviction on this one. Moving on, Check Dot has moved up today. Um, it's created a bit of a gap here. It's like jumped very quickly from day to day. Um, it could close that gap, um, don't forget. And then it looks like it's sort of on an yeah, looks like it's on an up trajectory. Um, very bullish on this one. It's had a bit of um, Twitter exposure today. Doge Blue, it's a good project. There's still some buying and selling going on. It dived a little bit. We'll give this a little bit more time to see how it goes. Meta K has done fantastically. Got term listed on an exchange. It's come down again, but that's fine. I've got long term convictions with this one. Troll. Look at this chart. Look what happened here. Uh, I've had to re-log my, um, my computer. When did we buy this? It was around one, three... Was this where I bought it? Yeah, it was quite early, wasn't it? I jumped into this. It was around here. It's above my uh, buy-in uh, zone. It has mooned uh, recently. It was up here. I think I bought it around this mark here. Um, yeah, what's this mark here? I've lost my marking because uh, I had to re uh, reload my Mac because it was getting a bit getting a bit funky. So let's put that mark back in there. So where this is where we bought in. If you bought in same time as me, this was our entry, um, and it's it mooned quite well today as well. Um, and it's still up above that entry. May 
this one continue. I got good conviction with this because somebody had brought it to Pepe, one of those, um, I remember it was one of those um, uh, wallets we were looking at. Bought into Troll, of course, you've got to jump into that one. Uh, let's not talk about my place, it's down, it's not on a 15 minute chart. Let's move on to the hourly chart, get more of a, a bigger picture. Uh, there you go. Uh, I think this was the launch day was here. Started coming down, it bottomed out, had a pump on the 1st of May, it's come back down again. I like this one, I've got long term convictions in it. Yes, it's dived a little bit and it's buying and selling pressure seems to have tailed off. I think, they, I'll have to look into that one, see what's going on in their Telegram group. Let's have a quick butchers in there. Let's see what's going on with your place. There we are. Trust me to have my camera right here. Can I click on the... No, I can't get to it. Let's just do that. Here we are. So what's happened here? Anything in here? We are here to stay. It's this pin message from yesterday. Uh, the token marketing project first speculation people come in. The second is about long term development. All right, they're still saying that they're building. Um, it's fine. There's probably just a lot of. It's just not very much selling going on at the moment. They need to do more marketing by the looks of it. Will it continue? I really don't know. This is the risk that you take when you invest into brand new projects that have just launched. Are they gonna do well? They look amazing. This one looked absolutely amazing. I think this could really overtake DSO if it actually does what it says on the tin. It already already has got the websites up and running. We shall see how this one goes. We're keeping an eye on that. Our most recent one, uh, Floki CFO, on the 15 minute chart uh, launched uh, yesterday, we're on the fifth today, and it's still going. It's had a bit of another uptick on here, which is actually pretty, pretty good. It's quite a lot of buying and selling going on, and that's probably a meme coin to look out for. There's a lot of talk now that the gas fees on the Ethereum chain are just way too high. Yes, they are, they're like $150 now to sell. So even though Troll's done really well, there's no point me selling it because my bag is worth less than the gas fees. I'm kind of stuck with that one. I'm sorry if you are as well. Hence why I decided to look at meme coins that are coming out on the Binance Smart Chain. Or if I'm going to buy these meme coins now, I'm going to wait for them to be, you know, uh, listed on, a, on, a, on an exchange like Mexi or Bybit, etc. Links in the description below if you want to join those. Please smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell because I do send things that are out quite time sensitive. Bob. That's why I'm going for B&B &B now. We're trying to find the new Pepe on B&B. &B. That's what we're trying to do. This didn't do very well. It did dive. The Bob Ethereum done quite well, but the B&B &B, is it's completely different. The devs, obviously, it's not, it didn't do very well. It dived, but we'll keep an eye on that one. <clears throat> this is our Wojak chart. I was uh, trading this today. If you're in my Telegram group, you would have seen that I was trading this. Um, and I made some good gains on it and so I put the last ten dollars in um, another ten dollars in you'll see and uh, it didn't it liquidated but that's fine because I made some decent returns today on Mexi uh, here we are Pepe right so Pepe moved from the Binance um, uh, listing all the way up and it topped out up here at the moment and it's come back down again it seems to have broken out of this little wedge here that I've literally just put in before I started the video on a one hour chart. Um, it's bounced off of this line here. It looks to me that this is your new support at 2866. So that's five zeros, 2866. It's had quite a lot of large buys, still having some large buys going on there. Um, and um, quite large selling as well obviously I've still got my spot bag I've made a bit of gains on the long I messed up by closing I like my long was down here started off so gutted that I closed it by accident yes you heard uh, by accident uh, I didn't mean I didn't mean to close it, it would have made me 20 times that what was that like to what's, what's what is that i don't really know what that would have been so i had an on a 20x 
let's see what that would have been. <clears throat> so 20 times 187, uh, let's just round it on that, would have made me, th would have 34 times, I already put 10 bucks in it at the beginning, it would have made me 34 times that. Ugh. 34, well 3400, let's do it this way, Th times 3400%, yeah times 34, it would have made me $340 instead. I put a little bit of money in there, it's a casino, it's a bit of fun, a bit of fun. Um, but yeah, I do see Pepe continuing its run over the long term. Arb Doge, uh, in fact to kind of increase the gas fees, you want to claim the rewards, unfortunately. Look at the APY's gone up to 994,000%, that's crazy. Crazy money, 500% uh, return on AI Doge and the AI code. There is no tax burn. Remember you burn your rewards in here, reduces the AI Doge supply. You earn some AI code, stick it in here, stake it and you earn ARB rewards. So far I've earned one point, I've earned a couple of uh, ARB already over the space of uh, a couple of days because I restake some AI code from the burn mechanism and it reset my rewards. So be careful with that. If you want to add more AI code to the staking, I learned the other day, claim your rewards first so you don't lose them and then add to your stake and then you won't lose your money. That's one of our fair launches. Uh, Pepe AI fair launch is still continuing at the moment. The market cap has gone up to $1.1 million. Still got one day and 20 hours to go. It's raised 2,147 BNB so far. It looks pretty promising to me. Um, if you haven't got in there, link in the description below uh, to join this pre-sale. I'm not saying it's gonna make us loads of money, uh, but you never know. You gotta try, haven't you? Get on the BNB uh, mem, mem uh, road now, because that's what they talk about. At the moment, I've heard them say today, uh, in the Telegram groups, Twitter, ETH gas is just too crazy. Let's move on to finding um, uh, finding to uh, uh, tokens on the, B uh, the, the BSC. So that this, you know these might actually start pumping at some point. So people got to move over to BNB because it's a lot cheaper. Right. So the question in hand: How much Pepe should you hold? Will put you in the top elite. Big question. It's a good question, isn't it? It's easy to find out because you have a look in the Pepe. Let's see. Oh, that's my phone. Someone sending me a message. Can't do a video. <laughs> Silence that. Right, so top hold. We've got over 100,000 holders. It's mad. Right. Biggest bag is this person here. They own eight, nearly $88 million worth of Pepe. They are obviously in the top elite. Obviously got OKX, Hirobi, Binance. I'm guessing this is the owner, owner's wallet, don't you? And then underneath here, if Mexi owns less. No, I made a lot of money up. I made a bit of money off of that uh, from Mexi. <clears throat> so really, to be in the top elite, to be a millionaire, as it currently stands. Let's go to the next page. Quite a lot, isn't it? Next page, top 20. Got to be in the top 30. Uh, sorry, top 150 holders. To it would have to own 334 billion tokens to be in a millionaire on the current standing. But what if what if you don't have that? Yeah, what if you don't have that in there? You've only got to, what 300 quid. So what's a million divided by 300? So that's how much you should have made if you contributed how much I did. So it's pretty much 3,333 times. So to get to the $1 million mark, I would need Pepe to go up 3,333 times. So it'd be times this. 
So good, let's go by market cap. Times the market cap. So market cap of Sittle. Two, three, four, five, six. It's a billion. A billion. A hundred billion. A trillion. It would have to quadruple the current overall market cap. It's impossible. For three hundred dollars, you're not going to bake a million dollars out of Pepe. You're, you're just not. You're just not. So what if you just want half a million? You need Pepe's market cap to get to two, two billion, uh, two trillion. It's just not going to happen, is it? Let's see, one, two, three, four. Yep. One, two, three. Yep. You're not gonna. You're, you're not gonna get double the current uh, market cap value. Uh, surely you're not. I don't see it really. Do you? Uh, let's be honest. Okay, so I'm not going to make half a million dollars. 200, sorry, yeah, half a million. 250,000 dollars. One, two, three, four. No, not going to make 250,000 dollars. 125,000 dollars. Let's just keep going. One, two, three, four. Five hundred eighty-eight billion dollars. So I'm not going to make a hundred, hundred and twenty-five thousand. Divide it by another two. One, two, three, nine. Two hundred ninety-four billion dollars. It's not going to happen, is it? For such small money that we have now, we are not going to make a million dollars out of Pepe. It's just it's just impossible. What is the most we can get out of Pepe? Where did Pepe is probably they reckon it's gonna be the new Dogecoin. So Dogecoin's market cap is sitting at eleven billion dollars. So you look at eleven times your money. It's probably what you're more likely to get if you've made what I've made. So three times eleven, three hundred times eleven, three thousand three hundred is probably the most I'm gonna get from Pepe as it currently stands. If it hits the current market value of Dogecoin, I think it could, current market value. Now, in saying that, what was the total highest market cap Dogecoin ever went to? According to this, can't really, it's not really going up to the top. It looks like 88 billion. Okay, so 300 times 88, because it's sitting at a billion, 26,400. If Pepe survives this, makes the next ball run, for my 300 pounds, well, I put 80 quid in at first, remember, 80 pounds when I first put my buy alert in, on 29th of April, I'm up to 300 pounds, and I took my, I took my money back, because it's free money. I'm looking at $26,400 maximum if it was to hit the big ball of Dogecoin. If. And I reckon it's likely to. We shall see. Rojack. You see, I told you I traded Rojack. It was, it was a bit of fun. Now, Rojack's market cap is sitting on this currently. So, if you would need to get into the to a billion dollar uh, group on here. There's only 11 and a half, not even a, there's not even 12,000 holders of this thing. Who's the top holder? It's obviously the main, oh, QOV owned most of it. That's crazy. So let's see. So here we are. A million dollars worth is, currently stands, is this amount of tokens. That's your million dollars. That puts you in the that puts somebody in the top ten of Wojak. Yeah. So 
a million dollars. How are we going to get that from this? So Pepe is sitting on one billion dollar market cap. Yeah, so if we put that, how much tokens you'll need in there and divide that by, so I've got Let me see how many tokens I've got. I'll have to go in and have a look. I don't know how I did it with Pepe. When I do these videos, I completely lose where, where I am with stuff. Right, spot. I've got 99.9, 99,908. So divide that by 99,908. So I will, so yeah, this is how I did it, wasn't it? Is that right? Did I put the right amount in there? Divide that by how many tokens I've got. 99908. Oh, I did divide it by the actual amount that I owned. I owed, isn't it? So I've got 72 pounds. Because remember, I took my money out and I've put it into Turbo. As I've, if I've as I shared in my Telegram group. It's going on a bit longer than I wanted to do it. So, right, let's do it the way I did it with Pepe. 1 million. Yep, divided by my current uh, uh, value, 72 pounds. I would need Wojak to go up by one thirteen thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight. Now, what market cap would that give us? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's a, that'll be one billion, one and a half billion. So eight hundred and one billion dollar market cap. This would need to go to to give me one million pounds because I've got one in pounds. Not sure it will go there. A hundred and one billion dollar market cap. Really, will it? So. So what? So divide that by seventeen pounds. Right, so I've lost my train of thought. Right. Um So that was that. So okay, so we they reckon that we're just gonna be the next ship. So it's like a Shiba Inu. This is the current market cap Shiba Inu sitting on five billion dollars. So divide that by current market cap of Wojak. Let's see how many gains it will get. Oh. Didn't exactly. If I'm boring you, I'm really, really sorry. Just trying to get this to be done. Uh, right, so divide that by that. 101 times your money. Times that by 70, 70 pounds or 70 dollars. That will give me 7,124 sitting at current market value of Wojak. Considering I've got less money in my Wojak bag, that's a hell of a lot more gains than I would get from Pepe. Are you seeing, are you understanding where I'm going with this? Because I hope you do. Yeah? So that's how many gains you'll get. Now, when SHIB hits its all-time high, what was its market cap at its all-time high? It was sitting at $41 billion. So let's let's keep it at $41 billion, yeah? It's 41 divided by the current market cap of Rojack. And this is where Wojak had hit in a massive next proper blow off top. 710 times your money, times that by 70. 49,731 for less money. And obviously my Pepe bag, that's free money, so I took my money back, didn't I? I did the same with Wojak, but Wojak's gonna give me this. So how much was it again? About 24,000, wasn't it, 900? So all together, Pepe Wojak will make me nearly a hundred thousand pounds or dollars as it stands, if it hits the massive ball run, and they make it just like Doge and Shib. But that's what they reckon it's going to be. 
they are the next Dojin ship they're talking about. We will find out next year, most likely. I'm holding on to these, are you? Let me know in the comments below. Do you like this video? Click on the links below uh, if you want to follow my copy trade account. Here it is. Uh, oh, I'm up $11 today, which means uh, my AVAX must be coming into some profit. Finally, I've been waiting for you to, oh, not quite, but it's nearly there. It's the Bitcoin that's making me profit. There's my entry. I just need it to get up here. And, I'm, and I've already, I'm going to be selling this. And if you were following me, you would have made some good gains on this. Link in the description below if you want to follow my trades. Uh, I can have up to 100 people in here. Um, I've got nobody at the moment, but if you are interested in following my trades, I am aiming to do my best to make you money. I will not put a trade in unless I'm going to make money from it. This is going to be my main my main bag now, it's my main uh, long and shorting bag. Um, as you can see from this one over here, I've done pretty well. I've been sharing this in my Telegram group um, and I'm going to continue to build on this. I started this account with uh, $100. I am now up just over 3x when I started this account uh, recently when I started. Now I'm going to try this again. I'm going to fund this. I found finally figured out my TA. I finally worked out how charts and 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 things work. I'm going for it. I'm not saying I'm going to be uh, right all the time. It's impossible to be right all the time. But if I see a, a, a trade is going to fail and it's going to be really really bad, I'm going to come out of it before it turns really really bad. I don't want to lose your money. I certainly don't want to be losing mine. So if you want to join, link in the description below. Join my Vibit copy uh, copy trading account. And I'm going to leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I started this account here, uh, full disclosure, at 100, just, I think it was $120. I am up $8 uh, so far, although it's the same more, uh, maybe because it went down a little bit uh, and then come back up again. That's probably why. It's showing this out here. Ignore that because I am up $8.76 over, overall. And I'm happy with that. And I'm going to continue building on this. Watch me building this. I'm going to update you every video that I do. Um, link in the description below. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Hit notification bell. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Sorry this took half an hour. There's lots of updates to do on everything that's going on. Thank you. Bye bye for now.